You may, or you may not, recognize some of these dance studios. But here's one to remember. I started this business, I've had the studio for, this is going to be 18 years as a small business. And I started it not really knowing where it was going to go, but here it is 18 years later and we're still going strong and I feel like we're going to get bigger and go even stronger. So, um, For me, I started dancing in Trinidad, which is where I was born. So over there, it's part of the culture. We learn African dance, Spanish, East Indian, Calypso, because it's all cultural. And so I did that from, I want to say maybe 7 to 16 when I left Trinidad and I came here. I wanted something comparable to what I had done. So I found like a modern dance class. So I did modern and then I tried jazz and then I tried tap and I tried all these different styles. So we start at three. So we go from three to adult. And, um, and I have girls that's been dancing since they were five years old consistently nonstop. Well, I think dance, just like any other activity, can be looked at many different ways, but I think dance does create this team spirit that even team sports do. They have to learn to rely on each other because it's not just independent dance if you're dancing as a group, so they have to be aware of where everybody else is, so it teach, teaches that understanding of community and spirit. I'm well, just here with my friends, and they're all loud and stuff, so it's fun. It inspires me because it helps me with a lot of stuff because I'm like shy so then when I get on stage I'm like a whole different person. Confidence, I hope, just to be able to go out there and perform not just on a stage but in life. Um, that that self-confidence that you gain from dance and just from, you know, just being yourself. Like more personality makes me not scared to do certain things like with school helps me involved with that. More outgoing, I guess you could say. Just that confidence that'll carry them through, I hope. Well, these girls not only you know rehearse here and then practice and then do their recital, um, many of them dance out at community functions. They have performed, they've done, um, one of our favorites was a benefit breast cancer concert that they've done. Because it's such an important course and to be able to be part of that was really great. They've performed at Francis Curry Day, which is a day honoring veterans. Done a NAACP um, Black History Month event. Done another Martin Luther King celebration at the center in Monticello. I think one year we did like for the Make-A-Wish Foundation and that was, that was really special, that was nice. So they've really danced out and performed for their community to kind of give back. Education is number one, and I try to stress that because with, even with my own child, um, dance is there, but education is first. My mom does not let me come to dance if my grades are not good, if I get in trouble. Yeah, so it's a punishment if I don't. It's, it's always the first thing that the parents take away from them. If uh, if you're not doing good in school, you're not going to dance, and so you know it is. It's 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 major for them. It's really important uh, part of their life. Yeah, I hope it's a big motivator for them to keep doing well. So dance is an excellent incentive to help keep them on track because if they don't have homework done, they're not coming to dance. And so they have their homework done because they would die before missing dance. If I'm not doing good in school, then I cannot come to dance at all. So it's helping me get my grades up high because I want to come to dance and do what I love. The Center for Discovery, it's individuals with disabilities. So you have mental disabilities, you have physical disabilities. Those residents over there are they're so pure like they just love what they do I have two young men that I, ta I teach tap to and they I take them to perform I take them out into the community so people can see um, they're no different from you you know they're no different from us they're just they, they love to be out there and they want to dance and they want to show what they can do um, so when I, I put them on stage and people say, oh, it's so great that you're giving them the opportunity to be out, but really the opportunity is for the audience to see how great they are. Taking the girls out, we did a Disney parade. I've taken them to Disney World and we've done parades there in Disney World and performances in Disney World. Because it's just the happiest place on earth and you can't be terrible in Disney World at all. 
probably going to see Nappy Tabs because they're like my favorite hip hop dancer, choreographers, and it was amazing to dance with them and to learn their choreography and perform in front of them. I think it was in Syracuse, I'm pretty sure. And I met Twitch from So You Think You Dance and I danced with him and it was a great experience. She's just this generous, kind person. She's kind to her friends, her family, the kids. Having the most patient patience ever. Her dedication to the studio. She's so dedicated to us. Like she always wants to be so involved with us. How much she cares about her kids. It's like crazy. Genuine maybe? Cuz I feel like you see what you see is what you get. Like this is me here at the studio. This is me at home. Determined. That's a better one. Determined. You know, I just I just hope to keep doing what I'm doing and maybe do it bigger and better from between now and the next 5 years.